Good morning, everybody. Today is day 165. It is July 19th, 2023, and it is 8.31 a.m. in the morning. Okay, so I have to start over because I forgot my towel. So let me get everything set up with the treadmill, the speed and the incline and all that good stuff, and then we'll get started. Okay, that's already at speed one. Okay, so while I'm waiting for that to incline to 15 before I can get up to speed 2.3, I'm only going to do one video today. Um, I had to unplug our extension cord thing that we have and use it to vacuum out the truck, the big rig. Okay, I um, just want to see what I could vacuum up and I know that it needs to be mopped and my husband said he was going to vacuum and mop but I thought uh, he takes me driving like every Saturday and so I thought I need to get some of the dust out. Um, I didn't take a light out there which I should have but that was about an hour ago so I thought I had enough daylight and in certain angles I kind of didn't. I accidentally vacuumed up a, a screw or a bolt but I think there's more of them in there, spares. Okay, so hopefully the treadmill will behave and unplugging everything didn't do something to the connectivity that it has. All right, so that was the first update that I finally went out there and did it. As you guys know, I rarely sleep. Um, I've been awake, I would say, probably since about maybe 5.30 or before that. And I only slept on and off in between that time. So maybe about 30 minutes to an hour at a time. So I got about a total of maybe two and a half to three hours of sleep last night, like I said, not consecutive. Okay, so I decided, well, it's still cool outside. It's supposed to be, I think, a record high. Well, it's not a record high, but 105, I think, today. And when I felt the cool breeze, I couldn't pass up the opportunity. Or else, I would have been out here instead, walking. Okay, so, um, also, I weighed myself this morning, and I gained back 1.1 pounds. Okay, so I weighed in at 164.9 and you guys know I got down to 163.8 so hopefully within the next couple of weeks I will lose uh, weight instead of gaining some and I know that muscle weight plays a part in that but I still have my weight goal okay so let me go ahead and read my notes I have about a page of notes and then I did the research that I told you guys that I was going to do yesterday. Okay, um, I'm just gonna make sure that I haven't forgotten anything else. Um, let's see, oh, I now, as you can see, have my shirt on backwards. And so Lola is gonna be walking with us today. Like I said, super cute shirt. And I like the fact that I can get two different outfits out of one. Okay, so. We are not going to the event that was scheduled for August 6th through August 13th. So I have four days that I can save for later. The double and triple days that I walked for starting on day 162 up till yesterday, which I said might be for days 183 through 186 are now edited to just a slash with no day behind it. Okay, only the day that I walked for and completed the double and triple days. So now unless something else comes up that requires more than four days, I can go back to uh, one video per day. And either way it goes, I can go back and start marking those days 
for other days in the future that I will need it for. Okay, so I started, like I said, numbering my paragraphs, and there's only three. So paragraph number one, uh, the carrier for, let's see, I don't know why I wrote that. I wrote it backwards. Okay, the carrier, which is the post office, for, oh, for the US, okay, that makes sense, picked up my first order of the teddy bear resin charms, but there's no more updates on the tracking. And my second order, along with the wine glasses I told you guys about, have also shipped. So let's see what gets here first. I have to go back today after I walk for the seatbelt covers. So let's see if those are ready. I'll update you guys on that tomorrow. My main topic for today is what do you have to do if you want to move to Costa Rica? I printed out my research, so let's dive into that. Okay, so if you guys remember yesterday in either all three videos or at least video two and three, I told you guys that we don't plan um, moving to Costa Rica. I was just curious to see what you have to do. Um, to have a general idea of what would my husband have had to do if he had moved there. We never would have met, but he had it all planned out. Okay, so um, I found the following information on this website that I'm going to tell you guys right now. And so I'm going to make sure that I get credit to that uh, website down in the description box. Okay, because this is practically quoted. Some of it, I kind of changed the wording a little bit, um, but I didn't change the meaning of the sentence. Okay, so I kind of added in some words, took some out, so it would read more the way I read something, if that makes any sense. Okay, and um, kind of where I thought it would be easier to explain. Okay, so let's do a time check. Seven minutes, 30 seconds. I would be very surprised if we get through all five pages. So when I stop the video, I'm gonna mark where we stopped. Okay, if we don't finish. So the website is visaguide.world forward slash north dash America dash Caribbean forward slash Costa dash Rica dash visa forward slash residence dash permit forward slash. Okay. And I made my little copyright notes. So I know to put. Okay. So to move to Costa Rica, you are required to apply for a Costa Rica visa. Visa required foreign nationals may be exempt from holding a Costa Rica visa if they already have a valid entry visa for one of the following countries. A or an European member state. I saw that it's stated now that there are 27 states on that list. A Schengen country. Hopefully I said that right because in parentheses I had to put how I would pronounce it because there's no way I'd be able to say it without it. Okay, so I asked Google how to say it and that's what it came up with. Um, and then also the United States. But for the United States, I found information stating the following, which I find interesting. U.S. nationals do not require any entry visa to Costa Rica. However, they must have a current valid passport and return ticket to exit Costa Rica within 90 days. Okay, so I'm not quite sure how up to date the information is because that part did not come from that website. Okay, and the website was not dated, like last updated 
I don't know, June 19th or whatever, uh, 2023. Okay, so I looked, I didn't see a date. So, I don't know, I don't know which is true. Maybe that last part, or maybe it got updated towards the other way around. Okay, to me, the entry visa. Um, you can say 90 days, as I just read. However, if you want to stay longer than 90 days, then you're required to apply for a resident permit. Okay, so how to get a Costa Rica residence permit? And this is from that website. You have to apply for a Costa Rica residence permit at the Costa Rican Department of Immigration. However, before that, you must obtain a provisional visa from a Costa Rica consulate in your country or the one nearest to you if there is no Costa Rica consulate where you live. Applying for a Costa Rica provisional visa. You have to apply for a provisional visa for Costa Rica in the same manner as you would a regular visa. You must submit the required documents and on their webpage they have links to show you the documents. So in parentheses it says, see below under requirements and wait for the visa to be processed. The interim, or in the interim, the consulate may ask you to obtain additional documents or even attend an interview. After the visa is approved, you have 60 days to travel to Costa Rica and apply for your Costa Rica resident permit. Okay, now I did not print this out front and back. So let's go, oh, and I didn't say wood. That's right. I wanted it easier to uh, pick up and everything. Okay. Costa Rican consulate, consulates with an S, may have different requirements and procedures. So you, your first step towards obtaining a Costa Rica visa should be contacting the consulate where you will apply. Even if you do not normally need a Costa Rica visa to enter the country, you still have to register with a Costa Rican consulate before applying for a residence permit. Please check with the Costa Rican consulate in your country, and it has a slash, so and or nearest to you before you travel. Okay, so, this part tells you information about applying for a Costa Rica resident permit. And uh, this part, or all of what I just read up to this point and even here, I decided to add because you guys might ask, well, okay, so you told us what the permits were, but you didn't tell us how to get them. Okay, so there's more information on this site. Um, I don't want to say a lot more, but there is more. Okay, so applying for a Costa Rica resident permit. Once you are in Costa Rica, you should go to the Costa Rican Department of Immigration or another approved location and apply for a residence permit. Before you apply for the residence permit, you have to register your fingerprints with the Ministry of Public Security in San Jose. Here's what you should keep in mind before applying for a residence permit in Costa Rica. Get all the required documents before you travel. All the documents you submit have to be legalized. You can legalize your documents either through an apostle stamp, if your country is included in the apostle convention, or by the Costa Rican consulate in your country. All the documents you submit have to be translated to Spanish by an official translator if they are not already. Interesting. Okay, let's do a time check and keep going. 14 minutes, 36 seconds. You may have to hire 
a Costa Rican lawyer to aid you with the application, especially if you do not speak Spanish. However, that is not a requirement. You have to pay a $50 fee for the residence permit and an additional $200 to convert your visa to residency. Okay, so if you want to know what the requirements and documents are that you need to obtain Costa Rica residence permits, check out the website. Remember the link is in the description box. Okay, so things like your birth certificate, stuff like that, they have a list. Okay, now that we have covered how and where to get a residence permit, let's go over the different types of residence permits. Obtaining a Costa Rica residence permit allows the holders to stay in Costa Rica long term. And in parentheses, it says more than 90 days. For the purpose of working, studying, retiring, or joining a family member, among others. There are two main types of Costa Rica residence permits, temporary and permanent. Now on the website, they talk about the permanent first and then the temporary. Okay, so I took some key points that you might see on the permanent part and I put them up here because this is important stuff to know. Okay, so first thing is, no matter the route or route, however you choose to say the word, you go. After having temporary residency for three years, you can apply for permanent residency. You can only apply for a permanent resident permit from the start if you have blood relations with a Costa Rican. Okay, I do want to make sure that I mention that before I go into the two different types of residence permits. Okay, and then keep in mind that three years of temporary residency when we get down to uh, further on this page. I can't remember which category it's in, but you'll see why. I'll point it out uh, when we get to that part. A temporary Costa Rica residence permit is issued for many purposes. The subcategories of Costa Rica residence permits offered to foreign nationals include, now here's the thing, I was thinking when I was reading this, because of the list, that when this was typed, they forgot to put the word temporary after Costa Rica. But these permits may be offered for, I guess, permanent residents. So, like I said, since you have to have a temporary for three years first, then maybe when you apply for the permit, then it changes to permit. Okay, but it starts off on the list, it's temporary. Okay, so I'll read this one time and then I'll just go down the list. Costa Rica temporary residence permit for, okay, these are the subcategories, retirees, rentiers, yeah, you should see what I put in parentheses so I can pronounce that right because I know that it's not say renters, because there's not. And a rentier is a person who lives on income from property or securities. Now you're probably wondering where securities, if you don't know, I actually looked it up. Some examples of securities are stocks, bonds, options, mutual funds, etc. Okay, and in Costa Rica, it's called, hopefully I pronounced this right, um, a rentista. Okay, so next on the subcategory list is investors, spouses of a Costa Rican citizen, and then the other part for the Costa Rica temporary residence permit for foreign workers has a list as well. Okay, so this is what's on the, the list for that. Specialized independent workers, 
workers in relation of dependency, scientists, professionals, or interns, specialized technicians, athletes, correspondents, and news agencies, religious workers, or missionaries. Okay, so another time check, and we will continue. 20 minutes and four seconds. And some water. And the hope that whatever's on my nose was lint. Oh my gosh. I'm doing well. I don't need anything to happen. Everything's running smoothly. Okay, so let's continue. Costa Rica temporary residence permits for retirees, rentiers, and investors. And like I said, some of this information I wasn't going to put in, but there goes my nose. Allergies. Remember, I was outside first, and then inside doesn't help because I, oh, I forgot to vacuum. I haven't vacuumed part of the house, and so I'll do the rest after my walk, but I forgot to vacuum out here. Oops. Okay. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's see if I can at least stop sniffling because my voice. You guys know it just, it does whatever it wants. Okay, so again, this is for thought this would be easier to have a separate Costa Rica temporary residence permits for retirees, rentiers, and investors. Okay, uh oh. I might have to pause you guys. I hope not. But it says, out of the temporary residence permits, the most commonly issued are for retirees, rentiers, and investors. To qualify for a, and it goes on a list, temporary residence permit for retirees, you must have a pension income of at least $1,000 per month. Okay. Um, since it's S dollars, I'm assuming they're talking about US for all of this. Okay. Um, moving on. Temporary residence permit for rentiers. You must prove you have a staple income of at least $2,500 per month from an outside source. And some examples are investment, property, etc. And we'll continue to have it for at least two years. Temporary residence permit for investors. You must invest at least $200,000 in Costa Rica in real estate, shares, or projects which are of national interest. Now, let's talk about the permit Costa Rica residence permit. A permanent Costa Rica Residence permit is issued for the following reasons. If you have a Costa Rican family member that's related by blood, parent, sibling, or child, or after you have lived in Costa Rica with a temporary residence permit for at least three years. Now here's where it gets interesting. Remember that part I told you guys to make sure you're paying attention to? Okay, I actually managed to realize that, that that was so important that I actually had to move some stuff around on this list. Okay, so the difference between the permanent and temporary Costa Rica resident residence permit is or are, I guess, a permanent residence permit is indefinite. Okay, which I guess means you can stay as long as you want. While a temporary residence permit is issued for a maximum of two years and is renewable. Okay, so I added this reminder myself. Okay, so uh, this part, I guess you can say, since I added it, it's not completely quoted. All right, so it's a reminder that I put. Remember you have to live in Costa Rica 
with a temporary residence permit for at least three years, which is what I just read before in this category, right? So that would mean that you would have to renew your temporary residence for at least another year. Right, because it just said the maximum is two, but it is renewable. Okay, we're at 25 minutes and one second. I might actually finish all five pages for this book. That's okay. I'll have another topic for tomorrow. I'll think of something. All right. You know, I'm gonna do some water, and I think I might hold these pages because looking down, it's like triggering my, <laughs> triggering my nose. It's annoying. Oh my, oh my gosh. Plus, I am back to my regular speed. Okay, so maybe tomorrow I'll try 2.4 for about a week or so. Okay, so going on down the list, the differences between the two, retirees or investors with a temporary residence permit may own a business from which you get income, but you must hire employees. You cannot actually work yourself. Okay. And the employees, what I forgot to put here, because I squished information in, uh, this is from the website. I think it's actually quoted. But what I read online is that the employees that you hire have to be locals. Okay, so I might make a little note there. That's what I read. I didn't see it on this website, but I did see it online. And I saw it before I found this website. Okay? All right. I believe we're to the last page. So let me put that down and do a time check. 27 minutes, three seconds. And then we'll talk about this when I finish, okay? Last page. Depending on the type, a temporary residence permit does not automatically grant the holder rights to work. You would need to obtain a work permit as well. Okay. And I think it's somewhere here, maybe the sixth paragraph. I'm going to read it and see if it's there. And if not, I'm going to add in something that I'm curious about. Okay. Because of information found later on this page. A permanent residence permit allows the holder similar rights as a Costa Rica citizen, including employment rights. You can only work in Costa Rica if you are a citizen or a permanent resident. In all other cases, you will need to have a Costa Rica work permit. Your Costa Rican employer must apply for the work permit on your behalf. Okay, so what I'm curious about is the bullet point above that said, depending on the type, a temporary residence permit does not automatically grant the holder rights to work that they have to get work permit. Okay, so this information wasn't together on the page. It was like, like I said, far apart. I did a lot of reading. Um, there's more I just pieced together, kind of what I thought would happen in order. And so um, I'm not quite sure if that was supposed to be there as well. Or maybe they figured people would get down to the bottom of the page. Okay, now, there is a third type of Costa Rica residence permit known as a special residence permit. It is issued to students, volunteers, academics, or researchers. And in parentheses it says, see also, Costa Rica student visa. Oh my gosh. So I did not put that on this information. Okay, so like I said, if you want to know, Okay, if you are going to be a student, then remember the website is in the description box. 
And like I said, hopefully this is up-to-date information. Seems like it is, but you never know. Things change, which I think on the website is stated or somewhere because I had more than one page open. But this seemed to give the most information all in one spot. Okay, so this is an interesting question. It's towards the bottom of their page. And the question is, can you have dependents with a Costa Rica residence permit? Okay, and it didn't say which one. It just said Costa Rica residence permit. Remember, temporary, there's permanent, and there's this one I just heard about, special residence. Okay, so this, I think, if you have dependents, then you want to ask the what type of permit you're going to need. Okay, so the answer to the question is yes. Oh, well, actually, the answer that I told you guys you would have to check on, they gave. That's good, okay? So again, I'll read the question, and then I'll read the answer. I left out, right? Can you have dependents with a Costa Rica residence permit? Yes, all categories of Costa Rica residence permits allow the holder to have dependent family members with them. Dependents include the spouse and children under 25 years of age. However, if a child is over 25, but dependent on the parent due to a physical or mental disability, they may also be included as a, as a dependent. Okay, so you guys, that is a good portion of the information I found. And um, very interesting to see. Um, I think one of the most interesting things about that was that it said that everything has to be translated into Spanish. And I was like, oh wow. Um, just really interesting, it's so different. But now I know. Um, obviously, okay, obviously I knew you can just buy land, buy a house, there you go, you're a resident. I knew that that wasn't, you know, it wasn't that simple. But the overall process seems like if you go step by step, then you should be okay. Um, I, I don't know, I was told that they're very friendly there, and so I'm sure there's numbers and stuff. If you have questions, maybe you know someone that already lives there. They might have moved there recently. They have, might have more upstate information. Um, they might watch this video with you or go to the website and say, okay, this is still in place. This is still in place, like a requirement, right? But this, this, and this. You don't have to do that anymore. Okay, so it does good to at least do research to get a general idea. And if all of this is accurate and up to date, well, I hope it helps. Now let's do a time check. And uh, 33 minutes, 28 seconds. Um, like I said, Costa Rica, I uh, only seen it on videos. I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. And my husband told me that it has tropical weather like Hawaii. I enjoyed Hawaii's weather. Um, like I said before, the rain was warm, but not like a uncomfortable warm. It was just like, oh wow. You know, uh, the breeze, the breeze, I don't know how to explain it, but it, even though it was warm with warm rain, you still, more hot. And you're probably thinking, well, that's probably due to the fact that you're getting wet by the rain. But I mean, just in general, uh, I think the breeze was so nice. I wouldn't call it like a cool breeze, but it wasn't like a warm breeze, warm rain, and warm weather. So that's uh, pretty unique. I, um, like I said, Anything that makes you have to wear socks. I know they have those comfort socks, the ones I have them right now. 
in November around Christmas Day that week. I totally regretted that. I was trying to be comfortable. I didn't want my toes out, um, but I didn't have any shoes that I could have worn without socks. So I suffered. And I mean in Hawaii, not Costa Rica. My feet was burning up, y'all, which made me hot. That rose my body temperature up like you wouldn't believe. Um, I know some people are probably looking like, I don't think she's been here before, <laughs> and I hadn't. So, it'd be interesting if we go to visit. Like I said, I have a passport. Um, I can find out about the entry visa uh, later, if it actually becomes a plan. We have other trips planned, just the win is not set in stone yet. But, um, you know, nonetheless, like I said, what I saw from the videos, it's breathtaking. And, you know, if you already live there, I really hope that you are able to enjoy the beauty of it. Um, we have so much going on in our daily lives. Just to be able to take out the time, even if it's five minutes a day, and look at the pretty flowers and the plants and the trees. And I talked yesterday about how more in the inner part, the grass was like a, almost a neon green, this looked like that in the video. And it was gorgeous. It looked like uh, astral turf. I think that's what the, that's called, fake grass, right? But they had extra padding. Um, that's how smooth it was. So it was nicely evenly cut. But what was, I guess, unique about it, what I didn't say yesterday in my second or third video, is that maybe because it was an aerial view, that part of the video might have been taken from a drone, I'm assuming it has to have been. Um, it looked like it was all one piece, not like it was cut. Now I'm pretty sure up close you might see like the lines and everything from it being mowed, but um, from the height up that the drone was, it just looked like one smooth surface of grass. And it was the prettiest green I've ever seen. So. I'll be excited if I just go visit. I don't know what time of the year is best because I did not look that up. So maybe tomorrow I can do some more research and just see when people have traveled there and um, to see like when others advise uh, what time of the year to go. Because like I said, I would have no idea because I've never went. Um, I might even be able to ask my husband maybe. I believe he's been, um, maybe even, I don't know, enough to see the land he told me about that he was interested in uh, years and years ago. So we shall see what information do I find. Um, I don't know, if it's tropical weather, is it warm all year, does it get cold? Talk for whether I know would indicate maybe that it doesn't, but you never know. So I'm going to close the book because what I don't want to have happen is even though there's enough space, that top page, part of it, is not completely on the ledge and I don't want it to fall because we know paper is slippery and I don't want to slip. Now I'm going to move this over so I can see all my numbers. And we are very close to finishing. And like I said, one video today, I'm so, so happy. I'm actually gonna call uh, about those depot covers because yes, the town is small, but I can tell you guys, um, by seven in the morning, my thermostat in the house read like 81 or 82. So I was like, nope, time to turn that on. And so the house is enjoying the cool AC, and I'm out here. But since this is video one, my water's cold. And like I said, I know, at least from what I heard, it's safer to have room temperature water to drink. Uh, so the temperature of the cold water I guess isn't throwing your shock or something like that, it doesn't clash with your uh, like internal body temperature. 
which is, uh, I don't remember, something at 8.6 and something I forgot. I'll check and see. But we are coming up on you guys. Oh, I'm so happy. Let me wipe my face. 40 minutes, 1.5 runs for distance, 162 calories. We shall stop there. And we did good today, right? Treadmill behaved. Second start of my video went okay because first start I forgot my towel, thinking that I had remembered everything. And treadmill didn't stop and fling me forward. Uh, like it's mad that I'm walking on it when that's what it's for, right? And my water lasted me. My cup holder didn't fall. So I'm going to count this as a win. All right, you guys. I am going to get out of here, get cleaned up, eat, make my phone call, and upload this video. You guys can watch my stuff down here. Stay safe. And as always, thank you for watching. Bye, you guys. Have a great day.